I am slightly creeped out by the fact that there's no sound, but okay. Uh, it's just... That's not good. Hello everybody, my name is Toongale19. Welcome back to another episode. Today I'm playing the game called The Crooked Man. I've been kind of been going on a roll with these kinds of games as of late, so I figured why not continue the trend? I think this is made by the same company as um, both Madfather and Mazow, but I don't think that it's in the same universe as those other two. I don't think we're going to see Mr. Devil Band pointed ears O in this game. But this is a horror game. And... God, if this front beginning screen is anything to go by, this is going to be absolutely terrifying. There's no music! And there's just this dude smiling, I think? God, that's so not okay. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, this horror game it contains scares and grotesque content. Poof, poof. So your family playing if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the flying rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules of the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. No repurposing resources except author's illustrations. No redistribution. Redistribution. Ah, sorry, I had to choke up my own spit there for, for a moment. No redistribution of the game files except for translations. Do not cut the end of the credits from videos of the game. Do not cut the end credits. Oh, okay. Check the other side for more information. Acknowledge that the author takes no responsibility for any trouble caused by using the software. Does that mean it's going to fuck up with my game? God, I hope not. Or my computer is what I meant. Kind of a both. There's a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked style. He brought a crooked, crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse. Huh. <sighs> And they all live together in a crooked little house. P.S. I have no clue what the nursery room is supposed to be referring to. I read it, like, up on it once when I played The Wolf Among Us. Hello. But I really cannot remember what it is. Woo! Finally, looks things look tidy in here. Uh, this should be it. Is there anything else we can help you with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help, help me move. And thanks for showing up and showing me the place, Paul. I'll have you pay, I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. Three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Charming. It's... Oh! Oh, look at me. I'm so cute. What's this? Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. That's not creepy. Cupboards. A refrigerator. A stove. A sink. I just walked on the sofas. That's fine, I guess. An old TV. Just not a TV, an old TV. A box of tissues. An empty trash can. A phone. A fucking crack in the wall. There's a large crack in the wall. I should probably call a landlord about that. Whoa. How big is this place? An old computer. Everything I have is old, apparently. Nice. So wait, hang on. <laughs> I have my bed basically in like the meeting area. Cause I like that's the kitchen, dining room, living room, what have you. My bed's just right here. Why? What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a, for a change of pace and that was will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy you know, and not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for a place, right? Don't complain to me now. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. Oh. License can wait, I guess. Better go to bed. I'm not horribly crushed by the fact my friends think my place is shitty. I was going to make another comment, but I guess not. Hello, phone? Hello? Hello, who is this? Shirley? Okay. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first place in the new place. My, my target for my first place in the new day. Can't talk. What else is new? Okay. Gonna go to sleep. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Time to hit the hay with the lights on. 
That seems like a smart idea. Not going to be burning the electricity bill or anything. Hello? Ugh, really, is somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Knocking gets no response. Okay. Same thing. Okay. Yes? Who is that at this hour? Pardon me, I just... I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? Oh boy, this woman means business. You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? No, I heard it. Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Oh, this is me. Hello? Next to water. Is the faucet busted? Huh. Under the bed. What the fuck is happening? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. Not in bed. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Oh, I guess that in bed counts as under bed. I guess. Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. I can't read that. Oh, well, thank you. Ever since she went away, I spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and withering. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll go. I'll get to bed. Okay. We're just gonna... Oh, great. It's back again. Thank God. It sounds still. Where's it coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. Oh. Phone call is not what I was expecting. Answer. Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for all the... No. No, I didn't mean just... I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Man, I slept in... I slept into noon. I better go. So much for taking it easy. Where am I going? Hi! Paul? What is it? Uh, yeah, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was gonna bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. So you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah. Paul, did you write something in the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster you think... What kind of prankster kid you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. Okay. I love exposition. What the hell was that about? Mom? It's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! But isn't little Timmy? You've certainly grown. I thought my name was David. Good. You look healthy. So I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop too. So when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get in love with Linda, will you? All the fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometimes. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh yes, they opened the baker the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy something from there. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? Oh god, this is so sad! Ma get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! The strange man is in my room! Get rid of him now! Miss Hoover! 
Miss Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. We'll have to leave for the day. Understood. Take care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Oh, fuck. Are you kidding me with this? Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom, it's me. Remember. Mom? David, please leave for today. She's very confused right now. But she said my... I said leave. Oh, fuck. Miss Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. What the shit? Okay, so. Oh, I can move. Oh, fuck, hi. You want to talk, don't you? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, it's it's not great in there. Yeah. I thought she, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yeah, she's forgetting many things and she's having trouble controlling her, controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may, be, she may well get better so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. End scene! And I'm back at the apartment. Should I knock on the woman's door and say sorry again for knocking on her door last night? The fuck was that? The fuck was that? I heard something. Hello? Oh, it's the chair. There's something in the drawer. Oh. Got a leaflet for a school. Sorry, I'm under the chair. I click through things. I'm spastic. Looks pretty old. Huh. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? Guess it must be for, must be for uh, former tenants. You should have forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe, maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? I guess. Oh, fuck the phone again. Hi. Hello? Hey, David, how you doing? Haha, <laughs> you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look after herself. All right, well, I'll hang up now. All right, see ya. What a functional group of people I hang out with. And see it again. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Is it the ring girl? I didn't watch the tape. Fuck off. Oh, God. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? I don't like this being this close to the screen. Okay. What the hell? This is creepy. Oh, just slightly. Really, you weren't freaked out when, like, the chair moved in the room by itself without you anywhere near it? No, that's fine. But the TV, that's where you draw a line. Did it say sink? What was that? There's a crap scrap of paper under here. God, scrap of paper. Is this gonna be, like, the entire game? I'm just trapped in this apartment and I find pieces of paper? Oh, fuck. There was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sense piece and upon a crooked style. He brought a crooked crat cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Thank God for the poems. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is it here underneath the sink? I guess the previous tenant? Sure. So much strange stuff. I should just go to sleep and forget about it. Night time is the worst time to have shit happen. Just saying. Maybe for a change of pace, huh? I guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... They kind of picked a worse place for me to go. It's haunted. Is this a kid? Is that a kid I hear? This late at night? And what kid would live in, in this beat up, live in these beat up apartments? Someone whose parents doesn't have that great of a job? Way to judge there, David. Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. I 
I'm not moving. Of course there's no kid here. Must be getting tired. Was that from my apartment? Hello? Oh, it's a teacup. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. Wait, what? Help me. Oh, the coffee is spelling out. You gotta be. This room. It's really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? It's haunted. I just said it. Hi, uh, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, I was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is it okay? Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? No, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, see. Seems like he's forgetting a lot of his stuff. But I'll ask the landlady, sure. Later. The landlady is on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. It's haunted! It's just fucking haunted, dude. What else do you want? Is this the first floor? Oh, look, another crack in the wall. Hello! Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Huh, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he's, he was a man about your age. He suddenly lived about a month ago. Said to leave, said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I've never heard that, no. He just up and left out of the blue. Boy, is this, is this like writing for a horror movie? God damn it. I just can't remember his that name. I can rummage through the documentation to, to find the previous sentence if you'd like. No, there's no need. I'm just curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alright, sorry it wasn't very useful. So he left. He didn't, like, die. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Yes, my room! Where I feel safe and secure. Oh wait, no, I fucking don't. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. Oh, it's leading to the crack of the wall. Oh, I got goosebumps. Oh, the skin is itchy. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in the crack? Don't reach in. Okay, never mind. Got a brass key. This key is pretty fancy. That's for anything in here, so I wonder where... Holy shit, I'm handsome. This guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. It's like a poltergeist or something. I told you! It's haunted! Why don't you listen to me? But why would I have... But I would have thought that the landlady would have mentioned that kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody to bother if they're haunted or killed. Not... Nobody would be too bothered if they'd haunted or killed me either. They want, do you want them to kill you? But I wonder about the scrap of paper. Was that the man who lived here, like, did this stuff happen when he was here? Can we find him? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. I've accomplished so much! Ah, yes, yeah, sleep. Okay, he's crying tonight. Okay, not to freak anyone else out because you can't see my room, like my actual room, but my lights just flickered and that's not okay. What? What? Where's that coming from? Is that from inside the house? The calls are coming from inside the house! Wait. I thought it was the internet, but I guess not. Oh, found it. A radio. What's? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it and turn it on by itself. Haunt it! I'm gonna fucking say it again! Huh? There seems to be something on this piece of paper here. It's an address? Or a special place? What's that supposed to be? 
Got a piece of paper with an address on it. Okay, we have some place to go then, I guess. I guess. I just done? Okay. Boom! What? I'm, I'm waiting for you. What? How did, how it, and when did it? What? Ah! I'm waiting for you. That's not disturbing. Is it written in blood? How cliche. Ah. Hey, Paul. Look, I got some fucked up stuff going on in my apartment. Can I crash here for a few days? Pardon me to take a drink of water. So you slept well. You sleep well last night. Sorry, I had to sleep on the couch. I should be coming over for. Should be. I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! Wasn't expecting it. But don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into the newlyweds love nest. Hey, why you? Just kidding. No, but seriously, some someone like wrote on the wall. Could you come check it out? Seriously though. Uh, you can call. You can tell me if anything, ha if anything happens, right? Okay, I'll do whatever I can for you. Uh, do you got anything that can take blood off of walls? I mean, I'm just saying, from a standpoint of wanting to keep things really clean in there. All right. And I'm glad I know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you making fun of me? No. Oh yeah, I heard about from Marion. Sorry about Shirley, about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not the whole fault. It's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, okay? I know you've got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could define a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in a hospital, and a girl I wanted to marry ran away from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. Boy, you're a great friend. You keep up. You keep up that moping, and you'll have to be. You'll have your own personal rain cloud. My God, you are the best friend. Heh, <laughs> Well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm wanting to go on a little trip. I don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. They probably don't have postcards where I'm going. Breakfast is ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Oh, it's too bad. Come by any time you like. I'm going to probably go die now because I'm going off on an adventure that I have no clue what's going to be happening. Oh, good. I'm back here. Thank God. There. Looks like the address has, is in the mountains. About a five hour drive. By the way, what happened to the words? So, the person can clean up the words off the wall, but they can't like, clean up the tracks they leave on the floor. My god, talk about half ass job. It's about a five hour drive. Jesus. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about his room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. I was worried they're gonna flat to flash something at us. Prologue. David's room. End. Oh. Oh, so we're done. Okay. Bye everybody. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh. This looks great. Jeez, it's gotten so dark. This is a place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? I mean, it's a hotel. People stay in hotels. Guess I'll just have to check. Hotel. Oh. Runenheim? Sure. You and you want serene stay. Yeah, this feels serene. Not really. Oh, God. Hello? A hotel registry. It's locked. Stop. Staff only. There's wire on the doorknob. Whoo! Wasn't that ready for this to change? Something on the shelf. Treasure hunt. Dear mom and dad, me. Okay. Cute, I guess. Treasure hunt. Guess some kids staying here drew this. Ha, huh, sure, I'll look for your treasure. Treasure's empty. Pocket stopped. 
no one's here. It's like bathroom. I can't apparently. I don't have to go in. Okay. Oh, it's blue. Of course, it's black. Pat, lock of the passcode. It's so quiet. I am not okay with this. Okay. Locked. Paint it over. Paint it over. Paint it over. Locked. Paint it over. Boy, there's so many places to go here. Up we go. Same thing. Wah! Scrap of notebook from there's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. It was our special play. She left the pretty room with this big mirror. She would wonder where what to wear for dinner. But now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page matches the one for my room, so the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. Dude, we found no one. Like, why are you questioning? There's no one here. There's no even one even there to meet us at the, at the front desk. You're like, I wonder if this guy's still here. I highly doubt it. <sighs> so he got dumped, huh? The note at the home did mention that in our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? I'm gonna guess, guess and say not here. That's normal. Nope, we're gonna treat that as normal. There's notice on the door. Due to the employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Aw oh, man, but I wanted to read. I wanted to expand my knowledge and stuff. Okay, do I have Oh Uh Nope. Shoot, this is not the one I wanted. Wasn't there like a school, like a little girl system? No, oh, that's not what I want. Huh. Never mind. Okay, I think she said it was here. Eh? Something's under the table. Hey, I was right. I found a gold key. A piece of paper beside it. You found the treasure. Congrats. Okay, what do I do with this? I wonder if it goes to the library. Why am I doing this? <sighs> ah, sweet. I was right. Ooh. Hello. A key. I'm gonna save. Because I feel like some shit's about to go down. The owner of collection of books, please read it at your leisure. Oh. Cry of the Unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decide... It's decided in the unconscious. Even if you believe you're cold hearted, you may be a warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They'll be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. This is not the book I thought it was gonna be. Some kind of ocular book? I bet Paul would love this. He's he was way in, into that stuff for, that's he's way too into that stuff for his age. I don't know, dude. We've got some like weird Shit happening. What the? That sound. We could investigate, or we just stay in here, you know, be normal. That's fine, right? What the fuck is that? Someone there? Is that downstairs? Hello? <sighs> no, I didn't want that. Sorry. 80108. That's the one I just came in from. I can't even tell the. Oh, I can't. Yeah. 105. 106. So, not on this side. Yeah. Okay. On the other side. Seriously, what was that sound? 107. 108.
something up top. Okay. Can I? Ah, I can. I can get what's on the dresser. Huzzah! Fire cutters. Oh, sweet. That'll get us to the, um... What? <gasps> God fucking damn it! God! Gah! Really? Was that absolutely necessary? Who's there? Uh... I'm sorry. I came and, and the piano looked nice, so I, um... Sorry, I didn't yell at you. Or sorry for, ye for yelling at you. <laughs> sorry, I didn't yell at you. You're just- I yell. I- I- I project really well. I'm not on staff at the hotel or anything. Who are you then? I'm David. I sort of- I'm sort of looking for a guy. What about you? I'm Sissy. Huh. Sissy then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. Heed your own words, man. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here for a while longer, <clears throat> so I can help you look for it. Really? That'd be great. Okay, please help. <clears throat> just do me a favor, though. If you see a man about my age, will you tell me? Okay. I'll be going, then. Um, David, you be careful, too. Man, what am I doing trying to get girls? That's a fucking good question. I feel like this. I have like the shady one here. God, that scared me. Mainly for the fact that he just started running and that was just so sudden. It's like, no, I don't like this. I got the wire with the cutters. Excellent. Nothing important is over here. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. A notebook. Oh, I was like, we're not going to read it. Door in room 106 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Okay. There's no doorknob. Well, crap. I hear something. I do too. Is someone locked in there? I should find a way to open it. Owner's room. Maybe we should call out and make sure that, you know, they're on the up and up. Or something. Anything? Oh. I was like, why am I not moving? Because I ran right into a door. Oh, this one. Okay, I have not been in here yet. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh yeah, the journal mentioned something about the door repairs. We work out the door without a knob. It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. I guess we can try it. I kind of wish we had to stay with the girl with Sissy because I feel really uncomfortable just being here by myself, alone, with no one there beside me. I'm not going to sing. Attach the doorknob? I don't like this. Back of the month, a strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Boy! Fun. Whoops! Sorry, wrong button. Trash can's empty. Why does that look so different? It seems a little loose. Do nothing. A small door which won't open doesn't seem to have a lock. Oh, so I have to hit this. Stomp on it! Again, I don't like this. God, I don't like this. Fuck. <sighs> I don't like this. It's opened. Where's the mechanism for in the floor? It's a ladder and it goes down. Where else? Maybe we should check this out. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just close it and leave it alone. So we didn't hear. We heard crying. There's no one in here. So clearly we don't need to stay. Fuck. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I can't see a thing. I need a light. I... Hello? Oh, God. Uh, help? I am stuck. So I was stupid, and I forgot. I have items, and I have a lighter. I don't like this. Oh, God. Hello? What is that? Are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? Nope. No! Ha! Ha! What? Are you okay? Whoa. Uh, huh. Ah! Ha! 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 Oh my god! Stay back! Don't come near me! Oh god. Ha! Crap! Let go! Uh. Oh! Confirm is enter! Ha! Fucking! I knew it! What was that? His neck. It was all crooked. Can't have been human. I'm just going nuts here? That thing. It couldn't have been real. I'm pretty sure it was. It grabbed you. I mean, just saying things. I'm just so tired is all. Uh, I feel so sick. I wonder if this is up to you. Did she find out where she came from? Or if that thing she came for, you're really just gonna ignore that! Really? It grabbed you! I had to hit enter or confirm to let it go! Really? We're just gonna ignore that? Oh, fuck me. Can we lock it with something? Oh god. Hey lady, Are you here? I wonder where she went to. Let's try the library. Fuck. Me. Ow. My entire table just shook. I hit it so hard. Is that sissy? Okay, not here. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where was that? No. Boy, I like wasting time. It's the best thing to do. Where the shit was that at? Oh my god, my throat hurts now. Oh my god. There's stuff over here too. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, where is that at? Hello? Oh, good. Glad I ran all the way to the other place to check for you. Sissy, what happened? I went to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. No, I can't. I'm slipping. I can't possibly jump that far. The gap's this big. It's no time for pessimism. It's gonna be crumbled soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah! <gasps> Did I get her? Okay, got her. That was too close. Are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh. I'm scared. I was so scared. No more. I don't like the dark. Why do I? It's okay, Sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. I mean, I was attacked by something, uh, some creature in the basement. You almost fell your death. I mean, why are we here? Uh, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's all right. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you're looking for? Not yet. It wasn't in the room I was staying in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all the way by yourself. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely a save here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering. Was it a present or... Is this really the time to have this conversation? Need I remind you there's a creature in the basement that is probably very threatening considering the fact it grabbed your ankle when you were trying to escape. I'm just saying. Now is not the best time for this, like, discussion. I think. In my opinion. It's a present for my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me, after my own life. I leave. I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. Looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but 
Can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about person you're looking for? Heh, <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. Boy, howdy, don't I fucking know it. I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask, but I don't know how he looks because... Um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful for you saving me. Thank God this wasn't on a timeline or, or anything. I'm sure you would have been dead. With how long it took me to fucking find you. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Wait, no, can you stay? There's something here. I don't know how much more of this I can take. <sighs> Okay, well now what do I do? God, I've looked everywhere. I don't want to go back in. God, fuck. Oh, shit. The bathroom door is open. Of course it is. Because I didn't freaking lock it the last time I left. My bad. Shit. Wait, do I go check? I don't want to go check it. Do I go check it? I've had a good life, I guess. I'm waiting for the death to come pop up in my face. Oh, it's gone. Oh, what's that? Bronze key. Wait, don't I have one of those? I had a brass key. Sorry. Wrong metal. Lamp oil? Interesting. Miscellaneous goods. Drum. Smells like gasoline. Hmm. Probably shouldn't stand too close to it then. Is that all I needed? Okay, wait. I gotta... Oh, Jesus. I think I've heard, like, any locked doors were. Oh! Dog. Uh, oh, good! The bar! I can drink myself into a stupor and just not care anymore. They're almost seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. Let's try and read it. Toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing, thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. You were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff in the basement doors, having a number lock in the food storage. All the silly crap made this place impossible to run. Plus the Pasco thing was the thing with a book which he changed every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not for us. Oh, whatever. Once we're done with this booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door in the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? Pasco... Passcode on the food is pretty absurd. What do you say? It was corresponding with a book? Empty bottle beers. Huh. So. No. So, hang on. I'm trying. The thing he had out. The oculet book? Is that the. <coughs> excuse me. The one I'm supposed, supposed to be looking at? I keep choking on my own spit. It's not good. Oh, wait. Now that just says, says the books are at the beginning. A to B. C to D. I'm trying to think of something that just stands out. Now I'm going backwards through the alphabet. Oh. Blackboard in the, in the owner's room said, The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on the shelf, right? Ah, here we go. One, two, four, five. Wait, oh, hang on. So three. Oh, I need to write this down because I'm stupid. Stamps get out of here. Okay, so it'd be three, six, seven, nine. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. Guys, I got it. 
It's good. I think. Oh, fuck. Hi. No way. That monster. Did it really? Ah. Uh, I can't. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Oh, fuck. What am I gonna do in here? Okay, now that apparently. Oh my god. Fuck me. Alright, let's do this shit again. I'm not afraid of you. I'm slightly afraid of you. Oh god. Hi. Fuck me. Really? That was it? What was that monster? So I saw earlier was real? Yes, it grabbed your ankle. Why are your ha your apartment's haunted? That thing is real. You're gonna be dead soon. Try to take all this in and understand this is actually gonna happen to you. Possibly. Can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room under under is locked tight. I don't know. That thing might be pretty freaking strong. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Why didn't you warn her to begin with? I know you don't, like... Ah, I just... Ah, I'd save it again. Because fuck this shit. Oh, three. Six. Seven. Nine. There we go. Hello. She says it's shiny, but it's out of reach. Can I take that? Small fruit knife. Can I take that? Dude, there's something in this place. Take the freaking knife. A ladder. I could use this to get up to that thing. Brilliant deduction, Sherlock. 209. Okay. I'm saving every chance I get. That sent me back so far. Two, 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 four. This is gotta be on the other side. Six, seven, eight, nine. This looks cheery. Looks like something was badly burnt. Is this a photo? There's something under the pieces. I found a no notebook scrap. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I had to erase everything good and bad and all the memories inside of me too. Oh, my head hurts. Ow, that doesn't really help, actually. Oh, it's easing up. Jeez, I'm exhausted. I, I guess I haven't slept much. Don't. So you burnt the photo to mend his broken heart. Huh. I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. And he's a fucking ass. Oh, hi. By the way, there's a monster here. I wanted to tell you earlier, but I didn't think it was real. You know. Me. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get into. So it might be one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Monster! Tell her about the creature thingy! Oh, it's... The fuck do you mean? It's nothing. But sissy, you really should leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. 
I was attacked by it earlier. You'll definitely be in danger too. I think you should go. Look, I don't like the dark, scary places either, but that's no need to tease me about it. I'm not kind of, I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Look, it attacked me. I pushed it down. It's it's real. Sorry, but I'm trying to i I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. Don't worry, I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. That was not something to mistaken. You should try you should be yeah. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. It grabbed my ankle. I pushed it. It's physical. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. I'll I'll go look elsewhere. She's dead. We're dead. That we're just we're dying tonight. That's that's both the long and the short of it. Yep. Death. Death that befall both of us, because fucking why not?